our sun lines in astro cartography. We're going to be going over our MC, IC, our ascending and descending sun lines. So my name is Fox Red Sky. I am your astrologer, your host for Astrology Obsessed, and I am in my beautiful home here in Costa Rica, baby, Puerto Vida. And today we are talking, we're going to go a little bit into astro cartography, and we're talking today about our sun lines. And so for some of you, this is a beautiful place to be. And for others, I have encountered it is not the greatest place. So it varies, it depends really on your chart. If you were born during the day and you have a lot of placements where the sun is exalted, for example, if your sun is in Aries, if your sun is in Leo, then yes, being on a sun sign is very, very beneficial. And we'll go ahead and get into that. So we're first going to discuss our sun ascending, our ascending sunlight, our AC. So this, if you're, if you're living or traveling on one of these lines, this is how people are going to see you. And they're going to see you as this being that is radiating light, that is just full of enthusiasm and it's just People are going to be drawn to you left and right. They're going to think, wow, you're going to have, it's going to be a place where there's going to be a lot of good community. You're going to be seen in the community as somebody who's just got so much to bring. You're always going to be invited to the parties, always going to have lots of invites, a lot of social, social, social activity happening on your ascending sunline. But let's look at our descending sunline. And so I am of the thought and the theory this is just my personal thoughts that if you have, I'm on the thought and the theory that if you have your Venus in Leo, then going to your descending sunlight is a huge opportunity to draw and call your soulmate to you because you're on a line that is expressing your love language. And this is why I feel this would be the best place for anyone who is looking to find their soulmate. So if your Venus is in Leo, go to your sun descending. But let's, what else? So our, our sun isn't in Leo, our Venus isn't in Leo. Let's, who else would this benefit? So if you're living on your sun descending line, you can expect a lot of people to, that you meet who are, are going to be very, very just fun and optimistic and just really just bring, you're gonna have all these individuals that are coming into your life that are just full of just games and adventure and are just really full of that light of the sun and just shining and beaming a lot of positivity to you. So if that is something that you're seeking, you wanna attract, you wanna have a community that's full of those kinds of individuals, then go to your sun descending line. Now let us talk about the infamous sun MC. Everybody talks about going to our sun MC and the reason is Fortune and fame, baby. Fortune and fame and some money. So if you have a really good sun placement and you're born during the day, then going to your MC sun during a transit when the sun is going through your 10th house would be very beneficial. If you are looking for that spotlight, that recognition, being in the, in, being in the you know, public arena and really, really being known for your talents, for your beautiful attractiveness, your, your sparkling personality, if you want to be known, then go to an MC sun line. This is where, especially during a transit, where that sun is going through your 10th house or your first house. I would like to specify also your first house because again, that's how people are seeing you. The last, but surely not the least line is our sun icy line. And I have probably gotten the most positive and negative feedback about this line from clients of mine, from, from audience members, from people I've talked to. I personally not lived on my sun icy line, so I can't give you exact. And again, I'm also a, a night chart and I really do well on my moon line versus my sun line. But an IC sunline typically will bring with you a very harmonious family life, uh, a very harmonious private life behind closed doors. You'll, you'll just feel in the groove. You'll feel like you're in the right place. It'll feel like everything is just going really, really well, but it's not, you're not putting yourself out there. You're not trying to get in the limelight, but it just feels like everything seems to be just clicking and going in the right place. 
now. I've talked to other people where it wasn't the greatest, and typically it was whenever Mercury, Mercury was squaring their sun line, that sun line, and so they were having communication problems, and it wasn't harmonious. So you just really have to look at the other lines that are around your chart, and also just look at your personal birth chart to really see if you're gonna receive all the benefits that a sun line can offer. Now, again, like I'm gonna say, I say it, typically all I've ever heard from people, clients, my friends, myself, is that the sun line is the fun line. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that theory, is the sun line is the fun line. So anyway, wherever you are in the world, I hope you are traveling to your heart's destination. I hope you are receiving all the blessings and you're in your highest timeline. Mm, I send you all the love.